Michael Hogan bagged his second fifer of the match to see Glamorgan move up the LV County Championship Division 2 table after collecting 24 points from their innings and 11-run defeat over Kent at the Swalek Stadium in Cardiff. Kent started the day on 137 for five and their first task was to get another 137 to make Glamorgan bat again. Darren Stevens with 55 not out overnight and he held the key to Kent's innings. But in the second over of the day, Hogan picked up his third wicket of the innings and his eighth of the match when Stevens pushed at one outside off to find Ben Wright in the covers. Stevens departed with 60 of 57 balls, including 12 fours. It was always going to be tough to set Glamorgan a target, but when Sam Billings left his bat out and nicked to Mark Wallace off Graham Wagg three overs later, Kent was staring at an innings defeat. Kent were now seven down and still 110 runs behind Glamorgan's first innings total of 527. They were in desperate need to try and develop a partnership and in Alex Ball and Mitch Claydon, Kent managed to steady proceedings and take their total over 200. Having done that though, in the very next over, Dean Koska proved too good for Claydon and caught the edge of his bat for Jim Allenby to take the catch in the slips. Claydon had used up 50 minutes to get his 17 runs off 38 balls. The match was all but over now and it was a matter of when, not if, Glamorgan were going to win. But in 21-year-old ball, Kent have a fighter. He played some lovely shots, particularly off the back foot, and despite batsmen dropping all around him, he made his way to his second first-class 50 off a steady 83 balls, including seven boundaries, before Hogan bowled him to pick up his fourth wicket and leave Kent on 241 for nine. Another youngster Kent can be proud of is Adam Riley. He bagged a five foot in Glamorgan's innings and showed he isn't bad with the bat coming in at number 10. Despite the home side piling on the pressure with close fielders, the 23 year old wasn't afraid to play his shots. That would have frustrated Glamorgan, but with Hogan back on now, finally in the 71st over, it was all wrapped up. Robbie Joseph was well taken by Allenby to give Hogan figures of five for 67 and match analysis of 10 for 125 runs. It was a superb and dominant win for Glamorgan by an innings and 11 runs. The Welshman secured 24 points, which lifted them to fourth in the table, 42 points behind the promotion places. Kent had to settle with three points, but have the chance to bounce back at home to Derbyshire this Sunday. Glamorgan hop across the seven to take on Gloucestershire starting on Saturday.